So let's take a look and see how we can visually represent the trend for electronegativity here on the periodic table. So what's the best way that we can show how electronegativity changes across the different elements? Probably the easiest way, for me at least, is I look at fluorine here. Fluorine is the most electronegative element on the periodic table. So as you go across periods here, you get to fluorine. You can see these numbers increase. As you go up a group here, the numbers increase. If you remember fluorine is the most electronegative, you can really see that trend, and the numbers help us visualize this. You might note that helium, neon, and argon, they don't form any chemical bonds, so we can't talk about electronegativity. Krypton, xenon, and radon, under certain circumstances, they will form chemical bonds, but usually your teacher really won't expect you to know that. And over here, hydrogen is 2.20. It's quite a bit more than the other elements here in group one. So let's try to visualize this in 3D. So on this chart here, we have fluorine right here. Fluorine is this one right here. And the noble gases aren't even included, so they're just blank here. So again, fluorine is the most electronegative. And you can see as we go across these periods here, electronegativity increases. Up groups, it increases as well. So again, remember fluorine is the most electronegative, and you can kind of see the trend. And it is a trend. It's not perfect. Some of the transition metals don't quite follow the trend. Overall, they do. And again, hydrogen over here. Hydrogen has quite a bit of electronegativity compared to the other group one elements. Part of that is that hydrogen is often considered to be a nonmetal, like these elements over here. But we put it in group one because it forms ions that are one plus, like the rest of the group. But that's it. I think this is probably one of the best representations for electronegativity and how it increases going up groups and increases going across periods. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.